done. I've now sold one, like, ten thousandth of a Bitcoin. So yeah, yeah. Cryptocurrency, worked out. Uh, I can afford this Trader Joe's three buck chug. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm reviewing uh, the, actually two buck chug, not three buck chug. Um, Trader Joe's Cabernet Sauvignon. It is the Charles Shaw blend from Bronco Wine Company, 2014 uh, from California, 12.5% alcohol by volume. And I got it for $2 at Trader Joe's. So let's go ahead and pour a sample. And I just realized I'm using my wife's wine glass, but that's okay, we'll just do a normal glass tonight. Um, from a color standpoint, it's pretty purple. Yeah, it's it's pretty purple. Um, I'm actually surprised it is this purple with being a 2014. I would have expected a little bit more bottle aging to, to kind of pull out and make that a little bit more red, but no, nah, it's just purple. So uh, from, but you know what? No cloudiness, no artifacts, none of that stuff. Uh, from a nose standpoint, I'm getting a mix between a little bit of dark fruit and um, a red fruit. Kind of smells like um, a red or a red cherry. But there's like a, a pungent aspect of it too. It's not oak. It's um, I think it kind of smells a little dirty. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I don't really know how to say it other than that. I'm, I'm having a hard time finding dark fruit too. It's just a really kind of off smelling Cabernet. Hmm, I don't know, but let's see how it tastes. Okay, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Um, you are getting the fruit flavors are really ripe. There's not really any oak. Um, there is that sort of, I'm gonna say it's like wet grass that I'm kind of getting in here, which I don't really typically associate with Cabernets. Red cherry's very much there. Like a hint of like raspberry. Yeah, just like a hint of raspberry. So, Trader Joe's Charles Shaw Blend from Bronco Wine Company, 2014 California Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, what am I gonna reach you? I am going to reach you an okay. Um, you're drinkable. Uh, I'm not going to pour you down the drain. But you know what? You're still not as good as the best two buck chuck that I found, which unfortunately at this time is no longer being made um, because it was a holiday thing. So uh, maybe a year from now I can amend my Trader Joe's series and add a little bit more um, like variety to it by one varietal. Assuming they make it again. They may not make it again. I don't know. But um, in the meantime, this is okay. Uh, if you if you want to get a cheap wine and you're not trying to impress anybody, for $2, there are significantly things worse. Cul-de-sac. Uh, and um, it just is not nearly as bad as some of the other options out there. Catch the ascension on. Um, but it's not going to knock your socks off. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you like today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the Trader Joe's Two Buck Chuck Cabernet Sauvignon? I'll be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, back to video editing. I know you're still here. Um, in the meantime, if, if you just want to watch me edit videos, that's cool, but Here's another video that you can watch. You'll probably like it. You might not. Um, if not, you can subscribe. 
um, and that will probably help you find a video you do like. Um, but it's just kind of creepy with you staring at me working.